Oh, we're live? We're live. Oh. Uh, hello? <laughs> um, hey guys, it's me, Cray Sean. We're live right now. What's good? Um, why don't you introduce yourself and, for uh, all, all the lovely l ladies? And it's uh, me, Robin. Mo Robin. Mo Robin. Mo Robbins. <laughs> Mo Robbins is the new name. That's the new, that's the new name. That's it. Like, you're going to make a production company called Mo Robbins that's Production. Mine. So, so. Um, so yeah, I, I went on a date today. Yeah, I gotta hear about this. This I is your first Tinder date, you said, right? This is like my first date in like four years or something. Like, yeah. it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty epic. How was it? Um, I feel like I need some music in the background right now, because I, I usually have music playing in the background. So, like, um, oh. there you go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so yeah, I did my first, um my first date tinder i made a tinder like a couple days ago just because you know everyone talks about tinder so i have to uh i just was like fuck it i'll just see what it, you know yeah. and um i didn't really like it you didn't like it no i already took my profile off what <laughs> yeah what but i mean I, I i had a date today and um it was pretty cool like he didn't mention like anything like about Krayshawn or anything, so I was like, "Cool, like." Oh, you have a different name. What do you mean? Yeah, well, because it links to my Facebook, oh, and my okay. I have like you know my Facebook is like on the low low, you know, okay. so I had a fake name and and shit, and um, so I'm like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." Like he doesn't know like who I am, and so like we meet up uh, at where we were meeting the arcade spot, and then like. What arcade? Um, no, oh, this is my secret arcade spot. I can't be like putting it on blast. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'll tell you about yeah, it. You yeah, should yeah. go though. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we get there and then like these girls are in the arcade and I, I know they can recognize they're doing the thing like, you know, her? yeah. And I'm like, fuck, like, I don't want them to like come up to me and like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to be like, oh yeah, by the way, like I'm a rapper, like, you know? <laughs> And, um, yeah, they definitely stopped and took a picture with me. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, by the way, like, uh, I'm a rapper. And he was like, oh, yeah, I already knew. And I was I like, knew. oh. I was like, well, damn. Cool, though, at least. I know, but when when I feel like, then I feel like he already knows everything about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I feel you. I understand. You know? Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. though a lot of, like, my whole Wikipedia page is, like, all lies. Yeah. Like, nothing, like, on the Wikipedia page is, like, true. It says I'm, like, 5'7 on my Wikipedia page. You're like 5'10. I know, yeah. I'm, like, way taller than that, yeah, you know? At least 6 foot. Um, but it was pretty cool, like... Yeah, someone's like, he's like, damn, I'm going on a date with Krayshawn. He probably was. He probably was, like, oh. telling his friends, like, yeah, you know, like, that, that chick Krayshawn, like, but then, I, I don't know, it was just weird, but it was cool, it was chill, I mean, it wasn't, like, love at first sight or anything, but he said he's a good-looking good tall guy, you know, he's, he, we have a lot of things in common, so, nice. yeah, definitely, like, felt good to just, like, break that barrier of, like, not dating, not, well, not you know what I'm saying? Again. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, and I was like nervous, you know, oh, yeah. but, you know, it's an arcade date, like, you know? That's pretty much the best thing you can do. Yeah. Plus, it's like, I slay at every arcade game, so it's like, I kind of felt bad for him. It's like, even with this, the hoop shooting game, I'm like, dunk, dunk, <laughs> dunk. He's like, damn, like, I suck. Yeah, you're making a little, he might not hit you up again. Nah, he's gonna hit you up again, for sure. I, yeah. He I asked me to, he asked me to go for drinks after. After tonight? After the show, yeah. Wow, that's like... Second date? That's In the same, same day? Man. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm slaying. Yeah, I'm true. slaying Are right now. Do I don't know. I don't know. Well, because... I don't know. It's like awkward. I don't really drink, so it's like... Yeah. I don't know. I like to adventure. I like to go... I want to meet somebody who can just be like, let's go fucking try snails or something, you know, like just somebody who can take, okay, yeah, take yeah, me, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. I've drank in a beer a million times, yeah, you know, yeah. especially it's not, not that great. Yeah. Going to the bar, it's just like, ah, he's just trying to get you drunk, I think. Yeah, I'm down, whatever. <laughs> That's another barrier I need to break down. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> it's been a little dry around here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's been a couple years. Except that barrier's gotta be broken. Yeah. Someone yeah. need to knock the dust off this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's Cradio. Um, we're periscoping as well. 
So if you're watching on Periscope, shout out to Periscope. Shout out. Um, I said that I was going to just play like my old mixtape today. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like taking it back. So let's play some classic hits from Crayshon's first mixtape. All right. Do it. Shout out to Periscope. Should I? I don't know. It's cool. I'm looking for true love, you know? I don't know. I'm just looking for friends, you know? I'll drink like when I go out, you know? But I don't like go out to drink, you know what I'm saying? What do you prefer to drink? I like to drink Fireball. Yeah, I like Fireball. Huh? That sounds awesome. Alright, you take your advice. Well, it's almost done. Hey. Hey. You know that whole song was a freestyle. I mean, if you couldn't tell, totally sucks. No, it's one of my favorite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a, that, these are good times. God bless this doobie. I was like cleaning my room and I found like a doobie and I had no weed and it was just like, you know, yeah. that song comes from like a real place. Yeah. When you find weed and you have no weed. Um, so yeah. It's one of the better feelings. So I read this thing earlier, basically it was about, um, this guy who, uh, was taking a selfie with a gun, you know, yes. hardcore gun selfie like this, shot and he went BAM, shot himself. That's so crazy, right? Like, you, like, first of all, I don't know, guns are scary. Because those triggers, man, it's not like you really have to, like, pull back on it, like, he, you know, yeah. maybe instead of, like, clicking the picture, he, like, pulled the trigger, you know what I'm saying? Can you yeah. imagine, I like, mean, and then, like, you're like, Psh. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. Fucked up. I wonder if he got like, ooh, you know, like a picture of like, you uh, know, the bullets and like. He snapped it. Yeah. Like the bullets in the air. Oh, imagine like Snapchatting like that by accident. There's definitely people who've killed themselves on like Periscope or something like that. Can you imagine? Yeah, I mean. Hey guys, I'm gonna kill myself, and I want to ruin all your guys' lives yeah. by having you guys witness this. And burn this image into your mind for the rest. Of your life. I've, one of the most fucked up death things I've saw, because, you know, I'm nasty. I'll watch nasty shit. Um, I used to go on World Star every day. Yeah, I've, I probably haven't been on World Star in, like, years. <laughs> but um, they had a video of this guy burning to death. Yeah, I've seen all that. Like, you know, like, yeah. he got caught, like, I don't know, like, stealing or, or something, and they, like, burned him to death. And it was just, like, the craziest thing, like, to watch that. And, like, you think he's dead, right? He's just burning, and then he pops up. Ah! It's like holy shit! Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's no joke. Yeah, I saw. I've seen people get burned to death, and I saw this one guy who he got put in jail for some shit, mm -hmm. and like he was being sentenced, and he just pulled out the gun and shot himself in the courtroom, and like <laughs> it's right up on his face, and like he shoots himself, and like the blood. Just Oof. pouring out of his nose and his mouth, and it's just like the most insane shit I've ever seen. That's disgusting. Yeah, it was real freak. It was just like, 
was it was crazy because I was just telling that dude like about the time I saw my homies get stabbed. Damn. And it that was that was like one of the more intense things I've seen in my life. What like so basically, I mean, I don't want to be snitching. No, but nobody cares at this point. This is like a year and a half yeah, ago. Just uh, yeah, you know, but um, so like I fuck with homeless people like I'm always giving them money Like I'll check up on them. Like if one looks like really like fucked up I'll be yeah. like here like put your stuff over here, you know, like sit yeah. up, you know, are you alive? So there was this dude like pass out on the street and I was like, yo, is homie alive? And he's like, oh, yeah, let me check and he goes over and he starts stomping him out Damn. While this fool's sleeping and I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? So I'm like, fuck this. The homeless dude pops up and he's like, ah, like, what the fuck are you doing? And I like walk across the street because I'm like, yeah. this is fucked up. Yeah. Like, I don't know you now. Like, yeah, you are yeah, not yeah. my homie, you yeah, know? Yeah. He was like a friend of a friend. So I wasn't like, that wasn't like somebody I hang out with all the time. But, you know, it was my friend, my good friend's friend. And, um... He, I walk over and he's like, oh, what's going on over there? I was like, oh, your homie's about to fight this dude. It's on some bullshit. And he starts running over there, like trying to help his friend. I'm like, do not go over there. Yeah, like, yeah, do yeah. not go over there. Like your panda d deserves to get his ass beat right now. And then like, you know, I'm with my friends and we're like, oh yeah, they're like over there fighting. We literally aren't even looking because we're like, this fool's an asshole. Like, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, and so they come running across the street like, oh, I've been stabbed, I've been stabbed, and I'm like, what? And then he goes like this, and there's like blood coming out of his chest, and my other homie got, stabbed yeah, and my other homie got stabbed right here on his side, and he's like, Ugh. and we're like, yo, what the fuck, and we're like, get in the car right now, and we like smash to the emergency room, and it was just so crazy, and like, they're in the back of the car, and one of them was like, I can't keep my eyes open. Like, we're like, oh my god, you know? I thought he was gonna die. The one who stopped him? Yeah. Well, they both got stabbed. Yeah, no, but I'm saying the one who, the one who got it bad. Yeah, he got it bad. I mean, he got stabbed right here. We thought it was gonna be in his heart or something, you know? And my own other friend got stabbed right here. I'm thinking, like, it's in his lung, and like, oh, it's so fucking scary. And then, like, so, like, the whole thing happens. I remember the cops calling me to talk about what happened, you know, cause the cops came to the hospital and they're like, oh yeah, like your homie said he fell. He said, he just said he fell. And I was like, I was like, I mean, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> he didn't fall. But like, yeah, he got stabbed. He's like, well, who stabbed him? What he looked like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't know where we were. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know nothing. I know nothing. I'm just telling you he got stabbed so you can help him out properly. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to find out. No, him, yeah, cause, like, cause I'm thinking like, that will deserve that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's street justice. Yeah. That that was perfect street justice. Stomping some homeless guys sleeping. That that's, was that's crazy. That's like the crazy. And thing. especially because I was like, is he okay? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like trying to be the good person. Like, is this guy okay? And he's like, yeah, bam, 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 like on his head. And I'm like, yo, no. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was that was pretty intense to see in real life. Yeah. I mean, um. I don't know, but even seeing one thing I cannot stand, because I've been in hella fights, you know? Mm -hmm. But when I see someone get socked, and you know that sound it makes? Not even this sound. It's like a sound you can't recreate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like that sound is just like, yeah. it's nasty. Watching people get packed out and getting stomped down and shit, that's, that'll change your life, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not some high school fight. I'm talking about some real like ain't no teacher finna break this shit up like yeah, you yeah. get stomped the fuck out like Wrong people. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's crazy. Have so, you ever been in a fight? Um, I've been in a lot of fights in my heyday, but I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'd be having that inside of me. Sometimes I'd be like, I wanna fight. Speaking I fight, of fighting. I had a fight on Halloween this year. That's that's the day that stabbing shit happened. Yeah. Halloween's nasty. Yeah, I don't like Halloween. Halloween's I, I nasty. Didn't do shit. I was just walking, and this dude just was wasted. And he just kept. He just randomly started talking shit to me. And oh I was just God. like, "What?" And he's like, like, "What is he dressed like Dracula or something?" No, like he was like, he was like a big kid, and he's just like talking mad shit to me. And I was just kind of like, "All right, bro, now you're starting to piss me off. Yeah, just stop." Yeah. Said it like at the time, and he's like, "Oh, you're scared. You're scared." And it's like, and, "No, I don't want to." Fight. Then he got beaten and he definitely regretted it in the morning. Oh, God. 
Well, that's and good that you beat his ass. I had to run away. I had his blood all over my clothes. I was like in the middle of West Hollywood. I had to run away. I'm like throwing off my clothes as I'm running away. I'm scared that I'm going to get arrested. Yeah, that's the thing with fighting. Like You get arrested. Dude. Yeah. You either get beat up or you go to jail. Yeah. Or you run away and ditch your clothes while you're running away. Yeah. And you're praying that someone's near you that you know that you can go to their house. Yeah, and you never know what re retaliation could be, be like, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Speaking of fighting, I, um... So, like, I met up with this lawyer today because I'm doing this thing where I'm just suing fucking everybody. Sue everyone. Sue everybody. You know, like, all all these years I've been like, all right, I'm just going to let this slide. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to deal with this shit. Okay. All right, I'm going to let this slide. And then when it comes to, like, yeah, the fuck. fifth thing, okay. it's like, nah, fuck all you guys. Yeah. Like, because all that shit adds up. And, um... So, like, I was talking to him about suing this one dude, and they're like, mm, no, nah, like, we can't really sue him. And I was like, oh, well, I have another thing. And they're like, oh, yes, we can definitely sue him. And I'm like, okay. I'm <laughs> just like, I'm suing everybody. Just write it, get, bring a list and just drop it off at your lawyer. And just yeah, like, my two sue list, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's just, so like, good. their names and then, like, a little explanation. Yeah, yeah. Like a two-line yeah. explanation. Yeah, he stole money from me. Yeah. He fucked up my accounting. Yeah. I didn't have hot water in my apartment for two months. Yeah. That's illegal. Lead, lead paint, wasn't there something? Well, like they that? did a lead test, and then, um... Fucked your shit up. Yeah. Lead is no joke, dude. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy that, that there was, like, a lot of stuff with, like, toys being made with lead, and, um... Kids were playing with Kids were, yeah. yeah. It's like a lot of kids stuff was made with like lead in it. And that shit literally makes you retarded. What happened with the Detroit? It's still yeah. fucked up. It's still, but like no coverage anymore. It's just like it came after a day and then said, all right, all right. I don't so, know. It was weird because, yeah, they were like, uh, you know, donating water to Flint. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I've been to Flint. Really? Yeah, I've been there and it, it's poor. Like it's a poor ass city. Like I did a show there once and it was like a dollar to get in. And, like, there was all these kids, like, hanging out outside, and we're like, oh, they're like, oh, we love you, and we're like, we'll come to the show. They're like, oh, like, we don't have any money. I'm like, y'all ain't even got a dollar on you right now? Yeah. They're like, nah. And we're like, I was like, fuck it, I'll get you in for free. I mean, yeah. it doesn't, it's just a dollar, you know? Yeah, yeah. But um, they were, like, donating water, and then it's like, you're thinking, like, okay, now they have water, but who wants to take a bath? With yeah, water that? bottles and <laughs> yeah. showers with water. This is not... This still sucks. It doesn't sound like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can drink the water, but... Yeah, like you said, what are you supposed to do with bathing water? Yeah. That's fucking... I don't know. It's just crazy that there's no coverage on that kind of shit. Yeah. For like more than two days. And it's just like... Like, literally, it... The thing is, like, lead makes... People have learning disabilities, yeah, paralyzes like them, yeah. makes them more prone to violence. And when you're in a community that's already like poverty stricken, yeah, um, where it's like people are already going to be violent because they're angry and they feel held back. Well, now when they're like neurologically prone to become violent, then it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just a crazy... And you think about California having its crazy drought. Somebody on Periscope said 2030 water won't exist and it totally feels like that. Yeah, I don't... How long? So they're saying that drink, there's no, there's gonna be no more drinking water by 2030, is what that person said? Probably. I mean, there's no, they're running out of water here. You know, before you know it, they're gonna start cutting the waters off in the poor neighborhoods in LA or something, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. There's a lot of movies about, like, um... The water bottle and, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tank Girl was all about the water. And they're, like, drinking water out of, like, champagne glasses, like, try this. It's crazy. This is the best one. Um, they said the world is 70% water. They need to find a way to purify salt water. Yeah, I've always, I, is that possible? I mean, the oceans are like so fucking polluted. I don't <laughs> eat seafood. I literally don't eat seafood because like, to me, the water is so nasty and polluted that I'm just like terrified of any creature that's living like, there. Fukushima. With all that, yeah, that leak just in the Pacific, yeah, fish have like BP crazy. oil spills <laughs> and everything. Such crazy shit. Well, it's crazy because now California's got like that uh, methane gas leak. Yeah, they just plugged that the other day. Yeah, but like the whole the whole side of California has just got like crazy carbon monoxide poisoning, and it's like. I don't know, man. All my friends be having these allergies. Now I'm kind of thinking, like, this might not be allergies, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. this might be you're dying. My uncle's been saying that. We used to go, I went golfing with one time. And his, like, I went golfing. Can you say I that? Golfing. I went golfing. 
Yo, I'm, I'm the golfin. I'm the golfin. I went golfing with them one time, and his eyes just turned mad red. Ew. And like, they were real puffy, and he even said he was like, "This is some Fukushima shit." Yeah. It's like this is not a reason. I was just like, "Wait, yeah, it, why did I move out of here?" Yeah, it's definitely some crazy methane gas leak. Yeah. Um. But yeah, dude, stock up on that water now. Yeah. That's crazy. What is this beat in the background? We got some dubstep. Real shout out to all my real dub steppers right now. Real wobble bass. <laughs> um, Do you like Skrillex? Uh, yeah. Nice. I saw Skrillex at Apple once. You mean Sunny? Yeah, I mean Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him at Apple once in Brooklyn. Have you ever been there? Um, no. Oh, uh, you gotta check that place out. Yeah. Crazy. Like, uh, one of the best sound systems in the world, allegedly. And uh, it's just like this little place in Brooklyn and Williamsburg, and it's fucking dope. I saw it was, it was like a really small venue. It was fucking crazy. It was like two or three years ago. Nice. Yeah, it was crack. It was crack. Yeah. It was cradio. It was cradio. <laughs> Damn, my stomach hurts. Like, I haven't eaten all day. I ate a bowl of cereal today. What did you do with this guy? You only went to an arcade and can buy you food? Oh, we went and got coffee. I don't like eating on dates. Yeah, I... Because I never eat. Yeah, I actually agree with you 100%. It's like, how am I supposed to, like, rip this food open while I'm, like, trying to talk politely about my life? Yeah, like, like, be attractive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that 100%. I bet every time I go on a date, or every time I've been on a date, with like, first time dating, I get food up. I always get something that's so easy to eat. It's like, I, yeah. I can't blow this. Yeah, don't get, like, a freaking... I don't know, what would be hard to eat on a date? Mm, like a loaded burger. Like oh, yeah, like a burger. Messy. Yeah, and, um, like, Philly cheese Spaghetti. Steak. Spaghetti would be romantic, though, because it would be, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, what's that movie? With the dogs? Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, yeah, that was, like, the only Disney movie I never saw. Dude, my homegirl has a Lady in the Tramp stamp. Wow. Because she's got, she's got the two dogs, oh, but, like, yeah. right on her back. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a Lady in the Tramp stamp. I like that. That's so good, right? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best Tramp stamp you can get. Um... So, what else should we talk about? Um, what's going on? Um, John Oliver ripped up Trump. I don't know if you watched John Oliver. No. Mm, we can talk about what the hell else is going on in the world out here. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's talking about Donald Trump. Does that mean, like, like, so he's about to be, so, I'm not smart. I don't know how things are. So, you have, like, these preliminaries and all this. So, then, like. You're basically voting for the one guy yeah. to go against the other guy and yeah, the yeah. Democrat and the Republican. Yeah, yeah. So, like, Trump's going to be, like... I don't know. I'm not following it that closely. Just people are freaking out about it. But we can also talk about Oscars, since neither of us really give a shit about politics. Well, I, don't, I think I give less <laughs> a shit about the Oscars than the... Po the... You, you care about Leo? Oh, congratulations, dude. Like, what the fuck? You should have been had that, yeah, you know? Like, Jesus Christ. You should have got a fucking Oscar for being in that Basketball Diaries. Basketball Diaries is amazing. Yeah. Titanic, even. Everything. Everything. So many. This was like, I heard, I didn't even see this movie. But this was like the one that I heard. The re the, the, the Revenant. I watched a little bit of it. He shouldn't have even, like, I mean, I guess he could have won, but, like, it wasn't that good of a movie, apparently. Like, there, he had so I mean, so cinema, movies. like... Through through the eyes of like a cinematographer, like no. the shots that they got is, it's a mind blowing. Like they have these battle scenes, right? And it's just one shot. And I don't know, like you guys listening who've watched it, maybe you don't like realize it because a lot of like cinematography, like you react to it subconsciously. Yeah. Like your brain is taking this information in, and it's like this is good. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah. you don't know why it's good. It's like appealing to your. Uh... Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it hits your like, brain the right yeah, yeah, the right yeah, yeah. way, but they'll do stuff that is like a whole fighting scene and a shot. Usually in a movie, a shot is like less than a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You cut to this guy, then you cut to this guy, then you cut to this okay. angle. They'll okay. have one whole angle of this whole battle scene, and there's like there's Some probably like 50 out. people in this one shot, and it's like all it takes for one fucking yeah. dumbass to fuck up, and the whole shot's trash. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like you got these crazy one long takes of like huge insane battle scenes and it's just like mind blowing Word, I gotta see it I just wanna see it cause he won and I love Leo yeah I, mean, I like yeah I love Leo I could say I love Leo 
It's kind of painful. It's kind of painful to watch because it's like, uh, I mean, the part I watched like maybe half of it and a lot of it is like the battle with the American Indians, like over the land and like being there. And it's just like, that's, yeah, like, damn, like, it's so fucked up. Have you ever seen Apocalypse? No. Oh, check that out. Is that about some war shit? It's about, um, I think it's South America, but it's like the white man coming in. Yeah. But it's not Fucking even, everything it's, it's up. Not, that's actually, it's not even, it's about tribes out there and like how shit was. Yeah. But it's like, war, it's crazy. It's, it, it's, it seems legit. Um, let's take some callers. Want to take some callers? Why not? I'm down. Do you guys want to ask Krayshawn a question? <laughs> Uh, 323-230-4445. One, one more time. 323-230-4445. Um, trying to ask me something cool, you know? Because, or ask about the date. Oh, yeah. Ask, I wanna, let's see you really want to expand on this date? I want to know about the date. Wasn't it last episode I, like, opened up, like, as an asexual? Yeah, you were saying that on, uh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, we gotta call her right now. Alright. Alright, let's, let's see what's going on here. Uh, hello? Oh, oh! That's just rude, you know? That's just... No one likes that sound. Yeah, no one likes Did that you ever sound. talk on the party line? No, it's the party line. You never been on the motherfucking party line! <laughs> no, it's, it's, like, the old school, like, Twitter. Like, you would call on the party line, and you'd be... You can do two things. You could be in a room with hella people. So it's like... It's like... Chats. Yeah, or you can go, like... Time. You know, you can go, like, one... You know. Yeah, yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Like, random? Yeah. So it's like chat roulette, but with phones. But with real phones. Wow. And chatting, like, on, like, this. Yeah, yeah, And, uh, remember, like, uh, AOL, um... Rooms, what the hell? Chat rooms? Yeah. You like, weren't supposed to go in them. Yeah. You go in them. ASL, yeah. intersex location. Down. Definitely talk to a lot of older creepy guys. Why are they? Why is the news reporting about Jared Fogel gaining 30 pounds in prison? Like, who the fuck? Like, at least, like don't talk about him. Yeah, he's out. He's done, like, good. Like, I hope he gained 30 dicks in prison, too. Like, nobody wants to fight. Like, who cares? That's like Subway doing, like, some good PR. They're like, ever since he's been in jail, we haven't been able to give him Subway, so that's why he's gaining weight. So it's proof. Even though he's a molester, we can still use this as some promotion. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. No, you guys need to be talking about the little kids that he fucking molested and, and talk about them, you know? Yeah, this dude, yeah, he's the biggest scumbag ever. I hope he's getting raped every day. Rip that ass up. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Getting with like a 10-year-old boy. He doesn't have a preference with little boys or girls. Ooh, 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 Shit that he was saying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that just means he's nasty. Nobody's calling? Yeah, we had one call and they hung up on us. Hello? Call in. Ask me a question. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Two three oh. Two three oh. Four 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 five. Four 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 five. Ask me anything. Ask me about my favorite food. Ask me something about Gucci Gucci. I know that's all you guys fucking care about anyway. So just ask me about it. All right, let's see what this person's gonna say. Hello, hi, it's Krayshawn. Oh my god, you are on Cradio and you are live. You have one question for Creation. What is it? Um, is there ever going to be another Creation album? Um, I don't know. I mean, I actually been working on music like low key. Um, I kind of want to do like a Kickstarter. Do you know who Kitty Pride is? Yeah, she, she did a fucking Kickstarter and it fucking blew out of this world. I was like so proud of her. I was like, all right, maybe I should try it that way. So, you know. Thank you for calling in. Okay, bye. 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 Hey, hey. oh wait, is it? Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. That's OG. Okay. Crazy. 
Um, yeah, I definitely am going to work. I mean, I've, I've made like three songs like this week. So, I mean, there'll, there'll be something soon. Um, but why did white girl mob break? That's a loaded question. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot to say about that, but no, it's no controversy. We're all just different, you know, and white girl mob started as like a friend group. We weren't, we didn't say we're white girl mob, the rap group, you know? So once like we got that pressure of like, okay, this isn't just friendship. Like this is a job now. So once our friendship became like a job, it was just like, yeah, we all have different work ethics and different goals and lifestyles. It, it just got too intense, you know? You're welcome, dude. God bless you. All right, we got, we got calls. We got calls. All right, all right. We're going to take a couple more calls. What's up? I can hear you. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I need some advice for Yes. What is it? Yes. Okay. I'm 18 and I have the most horrifying crush on a guy who's 28. And Ooh. Wow. Spicy. I know how that is. You, you you get this like image in your head and you just have to make this image happen. And I'll tell you, you're already doing the best part right now. It's called manifestation. So you're already doing the most important part and this is manifesting. Constantly put this image of you guys together in your head. You know what I'm saying? And the more you think about it, the more it will become reality. And other than that, you know, just stay cute. You know, try and keep in contact. You know, drop those little bombs, you know? Yeah, little bombs, never heard. Yeah. Let him know you're thinking about him. Exactly. Yeah. Well, just once in a while, not too much. Yeah. Yeah. Little bombs. Yeah, little bombs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, good luck. Keep thinking about him, and it will happen, girl. Get that dick. Okay. Also, wait, really okay. Arcade, uh, my oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so funny. It was literally like two minutes into my Tinder date. They're like, can we take a picture? I'm like, oh my God, is it okay? <laughs> Swag. Okay, cool. Holler. Bye. All right, this is our last call. We're gonna get into some more music. What? What's good? Hi. What's good? Wow, very good. Very happy. <laughs> um, I mean, it clearly says do not take my money. There's, there's no, there's nothing else to read other than that. I've been getting my money taken from me for a while now. And it's crazy because I just met with a lawyer because I'm going to sue everybody. And he yeah. said he said something very important. It almost made me cry. He said, never put people in between you and your money. And I was like, damn, I had at least like 10 people in between me and my money. Yeah. It's right. real life, you right. know? <laughs> All right. Swag. Bye. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get into some some more music. Um, we're gonna play another Krayshawn classic right now. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna pay, play a song. This was supposed to be on my album, but we couldn't clear the sample. So some of you guys might be hearing this for the first time. Here's a unreleased song. It's me, V Nasty, and DB the General. Shout out East Oakland, up in this bitch. All right. 
We're gonna drop this unreleased. Mm -hmm. Oops. Up periscope. Ew. They really be the sex gold chains when the cops be looking. wanted to have this singing ass hook. Yeah. I was like, because they put it on there and I was like, no, like it does not sound good. But we never cleared it, so we never so, finished it. Yeah. So apparently Kendra's got put on her album. Good for him. Man, his fucking Grammy performance. Crazy. That was like amazing. That was like a fucking movie. You can listen to it? It's listed. It's just a, it's like Instagram posts. Uh, Spotify is listed to new Brian Mitchell, the Compton Rapper, Rapper, Simply Title, Untitled, Unmastered. That's a fire name. What do you need? Nasty is uh, one of the hardest rappers. That was a rare, rare song. That was from Playgirl. That's crazy that... So how, do, how hard is it to clear a sample? They have no idea how this process works. I, I think you literally just hit up like whoever you sample. Because I know I sampled uh, JJ Fad for Cray Sonic. And she cleared it. And, um, and we follow each other on Twitter. I was like, damn, girl, you dope for that, you know? Yeah. I think what it is is if you sample someone, it just depends. Like, you can either pay them money, like, up front, mm -hmm. or you can be like, you well, get a percentage yeah. of, a certain percentage of, depending how much you sample, you know? Yeah. So, um, uh, I think it was just either we couldn't get a hold of them or, like, we didn't find an agreeance on time, so we ended up, like, leaving it off the album. Damn. Um... So, so, uh, yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't really like that album I did. A lot of people like it. I mean, it's not like, what are you going to compare it to? I only have, like, one other project, but, um, did, did Juicy J pay you for your feature? I, I never done a paid feature before, and I also, um, I never paid anyone for a feature. 
a lot of people like I think Two Chains in like one of his songs was like saying that you got, you have to pay fifty G's for a feature or something. So mm -hmm. everyone thought like, you no, know, you definitely paid him. Like no, nah, like uh, we just both did features on each other's projects. Two Chains is like so dope. Yeah. Like I love him. Yeah. He's so nice. Actually, I haven't really met anybody who was like kind of an asshole except maybe Chris Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I have a funny story. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was like, uh, like you know, back in that time, like I'd always be around these people, a lot of other rappers, and um, I think I was on a video shoot set for, it's like Big Sean and Snoop Dogg and stuff like that. So I was just like over there, like being a hoe, just saying hi to everyone. And then we get in a circle. It's like me, Wiz, and Chris Brown, and Big Sean, and my friend Burner, and we're all just talking. You know, and then all of a sudden Chris Brown looks at me and he'd be like, Christian, do you be getting dick? And I'm like, what? And he's like, are you gay? And I'm like, what? And everyone just is like, no. Like, was like, well, I can't believe you asked her that. No. It's just like, I was so awkward because I, I didn't want to be like, I don't know. I was yeah, like, I, I was like, dick. yeah, I get dick. Yeah, I <laughs> sure, I get dick. dick you know, yeah, no, nah, but that's because Chris Brown is really like, he's from the hood. He's always gonna be like hood as fuck, like okay. forever, yeah, yeah, forever from the hood. Um, like, the, have you ever seen that video of like? I think he's performing in the Bay. And then, like, some dudes start finding the crowd, and he's, like, on stage, and he's, like, ooh, they find yeah, over yeah, there! Yeah. And all of a sudden, they start shooting, shooting and I'm, like, yeah, yeah. oh, Chris Brown. He even said, I think, like, right after that, he was, like, I'm not doing, uh, black people shows anymore. Oh, my God, he no, he's, he's lying. Like he's definitely done hella hood shit since yeah, then. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Uh, I'm, not doing, I'm not fucking with the hood. No, the hood fucks with Brown, so he's gotta fuck with the hood, you know sure. what I'm saying? Um, but shout out Chris Brown. Speaking of Chris Brown, I, I've been seeing, like, all these years, I always see Karuchi. Everywhere I go. I actually saw her today. Really? Yeah, and I see her everywhere I go, and, like, I just feel like I should say hi. But then I feel like, like, maybe she hates me. Why would she hate you, though? I just, like, I just assume everybody hates me. Like, off top. Mm, why, though? You know, because, like, I'll meet new people, and, like, I do this, and I shouldn't do it, but I'll go on their Twitter, search their Twitter name, and search my name. Because at one point, everybody had an opinion about me, whether it was, like, I really like her, or, like, she's trash. So I'll go, and I'll, like, Google and see, like, what they've said about me, you know? Not that she's said anything about yeah, me, yeah, yeah. but, like, you know, that's why I just assume, because usually I'll look it up, and they're like, Quayshawn's so trash! But then I meet them like three years after that tweet, and they're like, "Hey, I love your music," and I'm like, "You're full of shit." Yeah. No, you don't. No time. No. Yeah. no time for that. <laughs> Can you imagine if you could just do that? Like everybody could just like search people people's personal opinions about you. People talking shit. Yeah. People talk shit on record these days, though. Yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah. Everything's on record now. Um, but yeah, Karuchi, if you're out there listening, let's be friends. Why not? We clearly, like, do the same shit all the time. That's right. You know? Um, I may, I may be, like, out of, I feel like with girls, you have to be friends with someone who's, like, equally as hot as you. And I feel like I'm just out of her league. I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm out of your friendship league. I'm just, like, I'm broke. I'm old. Yeah. I got a kid. It's like, God, who wants to be friends with that, you know? We're her friends. I know, but like, you know, barely, barely hit me up because you're just like, uh, she's got like a kid, she can't hang <laughs> no, no. There's no way she can hang with us. Yeah, oh, she's probably doing mom stuff. God, that used to, like, all my friends used to do that shit to me all the time. Oh, you're such a mom. You should, I'll be like, oh, like, I'm tired. They'll be like, you're such a mom. What's that mean? I know, and I'm like, no, bitch, like, like you're tired oh, yeah, too. Oh, like, yeah. you're not, but you don't. Yeah, yeah I'm a mom. Yeah. I'm cooler than you. Yeah, what? What? Uh, I got like a 24-hour best friend with me at all times, yeah. you know? That's uh, awesome. Well, honestly, I'd say bring your son. Well, I want to bring him, but I want to bring him when it's like I have to. Yeah. You know, when it's like a day his dad can't watch him, so I'll just be like, yeah, Des is coming in today. Yeah, I feel you. He would definitely, it would definitely be a funny show. Yeah, he, he, has, to, he has to be a special guest one of these days. Yeah, just interview him. Yeah. Be like, what do you like? He'll be like, cars, <laughs> mom, dad. 
Do it a little bit faster, like seven year old, right? Seven, four, five, three, nine. What? what? All kids are awesome. Yeah, but I'm saying, how old's your son? Two and a half. Two, oh, two and a half? Yeah. I don't know why I thought four. I wish. I wish I was over this terrible two phase already. Yeah. I feel you know, he's like too young for for daycare. Well, not too young for daycare, but for preschool. Don't they have like pre preschool now? Yeah, but it, you know how much fucking daycare and preschool costs? It's like a thousand dollars a month. Really? Yeah. To just babysit? Yeah. So you don't do shit. Babysitting baby. Yeah. One two three. It's just nap time. Yeah. Snacks. Yeah. It's crazy how, like, okay, so, you know, women work, women are single. Imagine, I mean, this is my predicament right now. I'm single. I Thankfully, I'm co-parenting, you know, so I, he has time. I have time to get other shit done. And, um, but there's women out here who don't have a relationship with their baby daddy. And, like, they're trying to work full time and pay for daycare. And it's just, like, it, it's literally impossible. Yeah. You know, or you could put your kid in like a state funded daycare and they're, they're not good. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. These are the, the places that are having baby fight rings and fucking beating the kids and shit like that. You know, it's not, yeah. I don't understand how, how uh, single moms are supposed to get ahead at all. It's damn near impossible. Yeah, it's uh, crazy how it's impossible and it's crazy how many there are out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, it's once in a while. Like, there's yeah. a lot of single moms doing it themselves. Shout out to the single moms. Shout out to, shout out to the single moms, man. You know we mean? know it's a fucking struggle, you know, and you have to trust, trust, you have to trust people with your child. And yeah. that's one of the hardest yeah. things in the world, you know? Like, mm -hmm. my mom was a single mom. She had to trust me with strangers, daycares, and there's, I was totally fucked up as a kid because she didn't have a choice. Yeah. You gotta pay rent, yeah, you know? Really, yeah. And it's just hard. I couldn't imagine, like, you know, working so hard for your kid and not even being able to spend time with them or truly keep them safe because what? And then the kid doesn't know how much you're, how hard you're trying, especially at that age. Yeah, they're just know? like, mom's never here, <laughs> fucker, you know? It's like... At least Des will have all these uh, radio shows to listen back on. Yeah. Like, ew, my mom was such a fucking nasty slut. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You like, just went on your first date and, like, yeah, I am. I'm, I am pretty respectable woman. Yeah, you're just funny. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was funny. Um, his dad came to my house today to pick him up, and this fool was like, all up in my shit, like looking at everything, going through my cabinets and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I catch him in the bathroom, going through my medicine cabinet. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking for, dude? He's like, you got all this stuff. You got all this new stuff. And I'm like, what do you mean, like lotion? Like, what are you? He's like, really looking for something? Like, what? Yeah, that's so sketch. Yeah, I got new lotion in my medicine cabinet. You want some? I don't yeah. know. Like, pour a little out of the cup. <laughs> No, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my life. You want to take another caller? Or do you want to see if they're still on the line? If people are still on the line, let's take them. Okay, let's see. It might just be dial tones, though. Okay. Right, let's, let's see. Prepare for the dial tones. Hello? No. No, 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 no. Hello? Uh, hello? 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 What? Hello? Hey. Hey, is this Craig Sean? Yeah, this is Craig Sean. You got question time with Craig Sean. Dude. I also I heard from you guys that you're totally explaining my story and realizing where you're from. Oh, that's my bad. Um, what's the story? Fill us in, bro. Well, can you put your life into a question and I'll solve it? Okay. Well, this is just for you. What was the craziest story that you remember? In ever? Yeah. Oh, God. You know. <laughs> That's you're, the hardest part. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my life is filled with crazy stories. Give me a subject and I can give you a crazy story. Uh, high school party. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. High school party. That's a good topic. Okay. I like that. Um, so, like. Damn, high school party. 
I should tell my Will Ferrell high school party story. Well, it wasn't really high school. I dropped out, but I was still high school aged. Um, okay, so here it goes. I had uh, just moved to LA, or, or I was visiting, either one, and I would just take the bus all around town, just like get lost and shit. So um, I go to this, you know, I get off the bus because I see all this shit happening, you know, all these celebrities flashing cameras. I'm like, I'm about to see what's going on over here. So I asked this dude, I'm like, yo, like, what's going on over here? He's like, oh, it's a stepbrothers premiere party. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's and dope. yeah, and he's like, you know, I, I really want Michael Strahan's autograph on this jersey. Like, he's right over there. Like, if you get his autograph for me, I'll, I'll sneak you into the party. I know a way to sneak in. And I'm like, okay. Nice. So I, you know, I have this jersey, and I'm like, Michael, sign this, sign this. And he like, he's like, all right, walk and talk. And he signs the jersey, and I give it back to the dude. And this dude is literally like, oh, oh my god. Oh. And he's like blowing on it, and he's like, I need to let it dry. And he's like, freak, I can't believe you got that for me. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So, um, so we, uh, so he shows me how to get in. We like go sneak in, and we realize the way to sneak in is like behind this like sheet behind the bar and the way the party's facing it's like looking straight at the bar so we're like fuck we can't sneak in because everyone will watch us pop up from under this curtain like well, you're welcome to the jersey yeah no so so here's the story so we go we're like all right fuck it it's too hard we go back to the gate and the gate is locked so we have our only it's option to to is to sneak in get caught and get kicked out so we're like fuck it yeah. so we run in and we go our separate ways and we got in. Wow. So I'm just it, at this party. Everyone's dressed in white. You know what I'm saying? I'm in like a purple flannel. Everyone's like, who the fuck are you? So everyone keeps asking me, who are you? Who are you? I keep saying, I'm Will Ferrell's niece. I'm Will Ferrell's niece. And um, so I ended up like hanging out with the dude from Scarface. Not Al Pacino. Uh -huh. The other hot guy. The uh -huh. guy who played his best friend. Yeah. Sister, yeah. So I'm hanging out with him and like Ron Jeremy and like Seth Green or something. And we're just like, you know, and I was able to be like, oh yeah, I snuck in. They're like, oh, that's funny. So we're about to leave and they're like, all right, let's congratulate Will Ferrell on his movie. So we all go up to him and, um, you know, they're like, oh, this is Natasha. And he just looks at me dead in the eye and he goes, you, you are an asshole. And the whole party stops and looks at me and I'm what? like... I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And they're like, what did you do to him? Like, how do you, like, what did you do? And yeah, I was, we're with you. yeah, and I'm like, I don't know. They're like, they're, he's not like that. Like, he's usually really nice. And I guess, like, you know, somebody probably was like, oh, I met your niece over there, you know? And like, yeah, but you're an asshole looking me straight in the eye. It's so over the top. It was like a that's beautiful so, moment. That's so like, funny. Will Ferrell called me an asshole, like, at a party. At his premiere party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. It's very legendary. And then me and the guy from Scarface made out after that. Are you serious? Yeah. What? That's fucking legendary. <laughs> yeah. oh, what the hell is his name? It's bothering me now. Um, I forgot I some white ass name. He's white as fuck. Is I, he? Yeah. He's white? Yeah. No. I think so, yeah. He's so Cuban in that movie. Yeah. So, sorry to spoil it. He was acting Cuban. Well, that's my story. That's my story. Thanks for calling. I hope that entertained you on your snowy Detroit drive. And, and don't drink the water out there. Just be safe. Be safe. All right. Later. Bye. Uh, we got like two minutes. You want to take one more? Um, see if on the line? No, fuck them. Fuck next week, y'all. We got you next week. Yeah, next week, call in. Um, maybe, maybe I'll just play one more Kitty Kitties and Choppa's banger. Let's do it. On the way out. Um, thank you guys for listening. I know I usually do horoscopes, but I did not do the horoscopes. You're on a date. I was on a date. Come you on, know, people. respect it. Come on, people. Um, I'm gonna play. I just want to be your friend. It's a very legendary freestyle and um. Good times. Let's do it. Ah! Wait, put me back in. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had Rick Ross on this shit. <laughs> was there a beef? Yeah, this is way before my beef. He was doing drops on my mixtape. Oh, shit. Let's do it. That's so funny. What's up, Dad? What's up, Dad? That's like I'm listening to your show right now.